סינדס קינח, איך קטן. שעות כה כנך אתה עסק, מנתק דין תענך חצתיך, יאק נקה היתי, כעקת, ידו עסק, ההיץ עתיר כהינק סיתי, כנקהו, יאק איש הסדר חיתי ושקיתן. שיק דוכית, שכוע נחו איש וסיתי. יא, איש אס שיט קטח, כגוונתנו וסיתי. יא, צ'אק קודי היתך. אסית כוהס, כקסדי. שיט שיט כשכוון סיטי יצא. יא אנגון דחקו אה דשיטון. הסצו אכלית כה הסיטי. שאון יא צ'אק נא סיטי יא אכלית כה הס. צ'אק נא הסיטי יצא. יא כגוונתן. הסיו. כנפו אשליט כוחס הסיטי. הלאה תסיכו כבוה יא ארט לתקה יוס דיסאק. ווהון כוח עצתי עתקה יו עתתות ליחי עתקה יו. יא סלקט ככוק סיטי עת אהוה, עצתי, עטווה, כנחווה, אהוה חוסייך, חי, יאללה סידר. נחסתי חה וחי, תעשווה עטווה. אהווה איסקווה פוגס טוקה It has properties in there that just they don't go by it אצווה יא אצחה יוסס ושליח יא פיסקו הסווה הוס אוסיקו כמחווה אז יאת קוצי כה. התשובות חצו כמחווה תורה סיכו וחי. יאו רד סידו כה נדו וסר כה. יאו שיט כה. סס אה. where it's the cedar. Gosti achewe chai asutuwasi go. Ya achatsu a'awe chai dachadu slayach. Aha. difference between red cedar and yellow cedar from an artistic standpoint. Yellow cedar is a lot more tighter grain wood and red cedar is a little bit dependent on what part of the tree you get it from. The grain could be loose or it could be tight. Cut to each two. Red cedar. You wear this again. You could teen where each. 
It glitters, that's what I'm saying. Dasua Atua makes our knife dull when we carve it. So we have to sharpen our knife all the time. Yahai Yolasida Koa. It's not like that. So it's mist there's a mystery there because red cedar is soft. But yellow cedar Pretty wood in their eyes. It's easy to sand. Ishka. Kiyetli yachayani. It's nice and smooth. Glass calm like. So when we work with it, we also treat it like it was still alive in our hands. And when I work with it, I I I say things like get we will use you with respect. We sucked. So come to paint designs on them out of respect to beautify them. A yik tsu a kawu we kwe spirit faces. This way, this was it, Nothing will happen to you. The artwork that I produce from the two pieces of wood, I have to always feel it, feel it that it's alive. It's like it's breathing yet. Uh-oh. Very carefully we carve so that we don't inflict pain. This is part of the teaching of a student when you're asking them to know how to be patient with the work. Yatin has to woosie go. Classic A. Just like in life, art is comparable to that. Just like in the wood that we use, especially the cedar. Just like fish, salmon. 
you've got the five different species to each have a way of being cut and prepared for preservation. There's naiety, maybe dog salmon. Not that much fat on it, that's why they like it. It don't spoil that fast because there's not that much fat. It's not oily that much. Our people, they like it. Humpies. Chods, they call it. Small. They like to cut it down the middle, take the backbone out, take the head off, put it on a pole. Sakawush, they call that. A delicacy. Yeah, where well, we treat each different kind of wood we have. Alder. Use it on the mask. We treat alder also as if we were cheating charts, getting it ready for drying. Yellow cedar, we treat it like as if it was a tuh. Keen salmon. Real gentle. Because it's fragile. Take care of it the right way. I compare clinket artwork the same as the way we live. And I shared that sample how we treat the different salmon. Red salmon, sockeye. We look at it and we say, oh, Kunahuk on Yuxiti. And it probably one of the best ones that everybody likes, like a keen salmon. Oh. It's bright, red meat, good tasting. But yet, a food chain of salmon, the best ones you got is the chods, the way it dries, hardly any oil, fat content on it. Dog salmon, same way. Dog salmon is not a beautiful fish, but if it's prepared the right way, it tastes good. Same way with wood. You prepare the wood the right way, it's going to do what you want it to do. So when I bent the board, I listened to it. After I heat it up, I can hear it. You can hear the little fibers. They either snap or you can hear it stretching. Uh-huh. I would tell them. It was heated up enough to make that bend. And I try very hard so that I don't stress the board by breaking the fibers when I bend it. It's like a treatment of a young child. When you pick it up, you treat it gently because it's Bones still fragile. Same way with this artwork. So this is something I teach my grand my grandson today, seven years old. The better he understands that, the better he's going to be at the work, at the artwork. Red cedar. My friend Jimmy Marks used to love to carve red cedar, and I told him. I don't like to carve yellow cedar because it dulls my knife. That's where you got to learn patience, he told me. You've got to sharpen it. Always sharpen your knife. So I guess the difference between the red cedar and, uh, and the yellow cedar the red cedar 
is more popular because it's a lot larger log that is used in canoes. And because it's a lot larger log, it's a very popular wood for totem poles. Comparably between the two, yes, the red cedar is a much larger tree than the yellow cedar. But the yellow cedar can hold its own because great percentage of time you're going to find paddles made out of yellow cedar because they're a lot stronger and they hold up well and they weather good. We use it for a lot of things. And that's how I like to I take care of my wood. I don't leave it out in the rain. I put it in a certain temperature. So when I got my great granddaughter and I see her and she wants to stay warm, I make sure she stays warm. The wood seco at kayo. That's how come. Kayao we we work with that. 